Hello, so my name is Thomas Woolley and I'm a mathematical biological researcher from the University of Oxford. Uh, I'm currently studying pattern formation here at uh, the MBI in Ohio and uh, it, although it doesn't sound very mathematical or biological pattern formation, the idea is that we want to, from the mathematical point of view, understand complexity, how does complexity arise, and from the biological point of view, why should we have structure? Why should we get fingers or toes or limbs rather than just have an amorphous ball of cells? First and foremost, I bid to uh, solve a project that's sort of been nagging me. It's one of these uh, projects that I looked at a little bit back in Oxford, but I just didn't have the time to expand and investigate all the aspects of the problem. So the problem I'm looking at specifically is trying to understand the formation of patterns when the cells are allowed to turn round and spin round. Um, and, and no one's done that. People have looked at uh, cells running and chasing each other and clumping together and spreading apart. That's all been done. But this idea of chasing one another and being able to sort of orbit one another, that's not been looked at. And so it, it, it is a very mathematical project, but there are systems out there, particularly uh, a Japanese group of experimentalists, they have found that these cells do orbit each other like this. And so it, it is a, a very applied aspect. And what I'm trying to look at is whether this orbiting, how that orbiting occurs, can change the fundamental pattern, which is what the biologists see. So the orbiting spiraling cell patterns, they come from uh, a model species of fish called zebrafish. And as you might expect, the zebrafish has black and white spurt stripes. So black, white, black, white. And what the experimentalists did is they extracted the cells that make those black and white stripes and put them on a dish. And they found that the black cells would... Oh, well, the black and white cells, they would just sort of stay there and, and happily jitter around. But then the white cells, they would send out tendrils, spread out. And if they touched one of the black cells, the black cell would run away and the white cell would chase, but not in a straight line. So if they were in a straight line, that work's been done. What, the, what they found, though, is that this, this running and chasing mechanism occurred in a spiral. So the black and white cells would run at an angle. Uh, and, and, and this is seen in, in the... In vitro, which one is it? In vivo or in vitro? In vitro, it, it's seen. And so the question is, can we understand it mathematically? And can we suggest how that running and chasing mechanism affects the pattern? Because not only did they look at the wild type cells, which do this spiraling, they looked at mutant fish. And these mutant fish, they spiral in different ways. And the, and the, mutant, and the mutant fish also have different patterns. So the question is, does the spiraling lead directly through to the patterning you expect?